Can diabetics eat hamburgers? People with diabetes should stay away from a lot of foods because they have carbs. When it comes to eating a hamburger, many people wonder about the effect it has on their blood sugar levels. So, what is a hamburger? Egg and bread are the primary ingredients of the classic hamburger sandwich. Most of the time, it is served with ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise. You can make a hamburger out almost anything you choose, including fruits and veggies. Louis Lassen, a German-American butcher, invented the hamburger in New York City in 1885. A cow's butt is what the German word hamburger literally means. It's possible to get a hamburger in a number of forms. Hamburger's Origins, A Brief History The first hamburger was produced in New York City's Soho Quarter by Louis Lassen, who owned a meat market in Germany. Freshly ground beef patties, pickles, and onions were offered in the 1885 version, which was served on toasted buns. Since so many Americans discovered it and enjoyed it, the recipe has spread across the country. Is a hamburger safe for a diabetic? It's possible, but there's no guarantee. Dietitians that specialize in diabetes nutrition can assist you in planning a diet that is low in sugar and carbs so that you can better manage your condition. Remember that not all hamburgers contain a lot of sugar either. Some foods, such as fruits and vegetables, naturally contain sugars. Depending on the manufacturer, hamburger patties contain anywhere from 2 to 5 grams of carbs. To learn more about any of these topics, consult a diabetes dietitian. Ground beef, onions, bread crumbs, and seasonings are the most common ingredients in hamburgers. It's possible that other ingredients like eggs or milk will be used in some of the variations. A diabetic's blood sugar levels may be affected by the high sugar content in all of these substances. Make sure to ask the restaurant about the ingredients and the amount of sugar in each serving if you're diabetic and want to eat a hamburger. It's important to keep an eye on your blood sugar levels after eating a hamburger to make sure nothing bad happens. With a little creativity, you can get a delicious supper for a lower cost. For a healthier alternative to fast food favorites like cheeseburgers and fries, Consider making them at home instead, whether it's a tasty diabetic-friendly patty or a filling one-pot meal. Even though you won't feel full, you'll still be able to enjoy the aromas and pleasures of your favorite foods without risking your health. Comparison of the diabetes diet to the burger There is no one-size-fits-all answer when it comes to eating. In order to aid with your diabetes diet, we've put up a list of tips. You may ask if a diabetic can eat a burger, given that they are so popular. The simple answer is yes, but it's crucial to keep an eye on the contents and make sure they fit into your overall diabetes diet goals before making a decision. As a guide, the following are some suggestions to consider. Consider what kind of burger you'd like to eat first. People with diabetes may see an increase in their blood sugar levels if they eat a hamburger that contains breadcrumbs and sugar. As an alternative, try making a vegetarian hamburger with breadcrumbs derived from grains like quinoa or amaranth instead. Second, keep an eye out for the components. High-fat meats like bacon or sausage, processed foods like mayonnaise or ketchup, and sugary sauces like French dressing or barbecue sauce are all frequent ingredients in burgers that diabetics should avoid. See what's in your burger by looking at the Nutrition Facts label on pre-packaged items to learn more about the ingredients. What the burger might do to you. For diabetics, a hamburger may appear to be a harmless food, but it can have major consequences. 
People with diabetes should avoid high-carbohydrate foods like hamburgers because they can quickly raise blood sugar levels, according to the American Diabetes Association. The following are some of the possible adverse effects of a hamburger. Blood sugar levels are rapidly rising. Risk of diabetic foot ulcers being exacerbated. Heart disease is more likely to occur. Ineffectiveness of insulin. Conclusion. A person's level of diabetes and other health considerations will determine the optimum manner to consume a hamburger, so there is no universal solution to this question. A hamburger can be enjoyed by many diabetics, however, if they follow a few basic rules. The first step is to ensure that the bun is sugar-free. You should also avoid eating meat that is high in fat, such as beef and pork. Toppings with a lot of sugar or calories, like mayonnaise or cheese, should be avoided as well. Even if you're unable to follow these rules on a regular basis, talk to your doctor about other, less unhealthy options for burger consumption. Thank you.